Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Madeline Lost in Paris. Madeline Lost in Paris is a 1999 directed video release. It's directed by Stan Phillips and I am so sorry. Mariha Maletic Dale Dail. Supervising animators include Mariha Maletic Dail and Mike Stribling. There was no editor that I could find. I'm sure one exists for the film. I just couldn't find it. Music by Andy Street, and it's written by Jacqueline Feather and David Seedler. Stan Phillips is best known for Choice Stakes, Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego, The New, Adventure, New Adventures of Madeline, <laughs> and The Real Ghostbusters. Marija Militech? Mil Miletic? Dale is best known for ABC Weekend Specials, Kissy Fur. PJ Bunny, A Very Cool Easter, and this. Mike Stribling is best known for Swamp Thing, Star Chaser, The Legend of Orin, Heavy Metal, and The Tale of Tilly's Dragon. Andy Street is best known for Time After Time, TV Weekly, Sketchpad, and this. Jacqueline Feather and David Seedler covered a previous video. They'll be listed in the link in the description. The film stars Andrea Libman, Stevie Valance, Lauren Bacall, Jason Alexander, and Christopher Plummer. Andrea Libman plays Madeline and is best known for being Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy in My Little Pony. Stevie Valance plays Miss Clavel and is best known for Three Men and a Baby. Reboot, King Quest 6, Air Today, Gone Tomorrow, and The New Adventures of Madeline. Lauren Bacall plays Madame LeCroc and is best known for The Murder on the Orient Express, The Mirror Has Two Faces, The Big Sleep, and To Have and Have Not. Jason Alexander plays Uncle Horst and I covered him in the video about Return of Jafar, link in the description. Christopher Plummer is the narrator and is best known for The Sound of Music, Beginners, All the Money in the World, and The Insider. I have no memory of ever seeing a Madeline TV show or a Madeline movie, but Madeline herself with Genevieve the dog is so familiar to me. I must have just seen her around when I was young, but I have no memory of ever watching her shows or her movies. I have no memory of that. Maybe I read books? I don't, I don't know. This was adorable. It's a musical, not the best music. My favorite song by far was the Something's Not Right song. That was the catchiest in my opinion. There are two parent deaths. Madeline's parents are past. And um, it was adorable. It was very simple and cute and quaint. It was a cute little good story. I don't have a lot of complaints. I don't think, it, I mean, they've done way better animations and they've done, they've done way better direct -to video releases, but they've done way worse direct -to video releases. So this was very cute, very simple, but not a bad simple. Like I really liked the simplicity and cute and just innocence of this. Um, Madame LeCroque, insane. Lauren Bacall though, okay. Like that's incredible. Um, but yeah, I don't really have a lot to say about this other than it was very cute and about average. I would, I'd recommend it. I, I uh, watched it on Amazon. That's everything I have for Madeline Lost in Paris. Let me know what you thought about it down below. Uh, my final rating is five pieces of lace out of 10. Our total movie count is, our parent death toll is, Cry count is still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I put out, not put out. I mean, I put content up there, obviously. But I have a tier that is $1 a month and you do get benefits with that. So go check, it starts at $1 a month. Go check it out. Buy merch. The Parent Death Toll merch is still new, still amazing. We stand, we love it. Until next time, comment, like, and subscribe, but I'm trying to view RCU and don't be mad on the croak about it. That's it. That's everything. That's all I have.